I'm Dr. Rick Green, Senior Medical Editor of General Surgery News, and we're coming to you from the annual meeting of the Southeastern Surgical Congress uh, in New Orleans, Louisiana. And it's my great pleasure to uh, be talking uh, today to Dr. Herb Chen, who's the Chairman of Surgery at the University of Alabama in Birmingham. Herb, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure to be here. You just gave a superb uh, Hamlin Letton lecture uh, for the Southeastern. Uh, on primary hyperparathyroidism, and I really appreciate that very much. Uh, we, um, we hear about uh, novel approaches to parathyroid disease. There was a video shown yesterday of a transaxillary robotic <laughs> approach uh, for a primary hyperparathyroidism. I want to get your thoughts on that. You didn't mention it during your talk, but uh, your thoughts on the ro robot uh, in taking up parathyroid disease. Yeah, obviously there are a lot of new technologies for both the treatment of parathyroid disease and endocrine disease, other endocrine disease orders, which um, include the, ro the robot. And the robot has been utilized f to take out parathyroid glands from both the axilla, I believe through the breast, through the mouth, from behind the ear. And so with these new technologies, we have surgeons sort of pushing the envelope of what can be done. My only goal, always question is really, should it be done? Or what's the benefit of having it being done? Because our straightforward operation with a small incision here in the neck are associated with great results um, and uh, can be done as an outpatient. And I think with the utilization of these new technologies, we are perhaps adding cost um, and the perhaps only improved outcome with these um, remote approaches are no scar here. For most patients, the scar here is very, very barely visible and we can blend it into the skin line. So I'm not sure all this technology um, is really making our operation better than it uh, was decades ago. Certainly, uh, there may be a time where we can show that they're better. I don't think the time is now, though. <laughs> so you have a 25-year-old uh, young lady, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she's in uh, businesses where she doesn't want a scar. She tells you, Dr. Chen, yes, I, I want you to operate on me, but I don't want a scar in my neck. Yeah. And I think that's a, it, it, of course, we're going to have an informed discussion with the patient. And I see plenty of, um, young uh, patients who perhaps don't want a scar and they either need their thyroid or parathyroid taken out. Well, first of all, I think today, the incision that we utilize for that operation where it used to be a relatively big incision, we can do a thyroid or parathyroid procedure in the neck through an incision about this big. And we can center it right on a skin line so it blends in. So unless you have, uh, unless you're prone to keloids or bad scar formation, for most patients, you don't even see the incision. So that's, you know, I begin with that conversation. Um, and then obviously we want to do the best technique for outcome. So I said, it's a great outcome. It's an um, outpatient procedure and so forth. But if they want to have a, what we, a scar less a no scar neck procedure, um, my partner, uh, Vanessa Lindman, does do um, Probably the most, I think, the most popular technique today to would approach that would be a transoral thyroid or parathyroid, which goes through the mouth and avoids the scar here. Um, uh, you mentioned there, you know, the remote post exhale. That's possible, but that you go through a lot of geography, and it actually has a higher <laughs> complication rate, and you have to usually be admitted with a drain <coughs> if you go that way. So there's so many things you're introducing. So the probably most direct remote route, I think, is through the mouth, which actually it's, it, it just comes in front of the teeth and tunnels subcutaneously down to where the thyroid is. And that has become popular, I think, in the last five years, very popular in Asia right now. So I do see those uh, procedures being offered to uh, patients who have a significant concern about scar. But quite honestly, since we've opened that procedure at UAB, we have a hard time getting patients to sign up for it. 
because they say, what, you're going to go take my thyroid or parathyroid out through my mouth? Just have it done the usual way. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice. We've been talking today to uh, Dr. Herb Chen, Chairman of Surgery at the University of Alabama, who just gave a magnificent Latin lecture at this year's Southeastern Surgical Congress. Herb, thanks so much for being with us today. Oh, my pleasure.